to KLA News. Today I will be giving you a recap about last week's Welcome Back Dance. If you did not attend, here are some photos provided by the lovely Miss King. In order to participate in any KLA student activities, you must meet the KLA Way expectations, aka dance, field trips, and reward the doer's activities. The expectations are you must have a 2.5 GPA and CPA for the most recent grading period, you must have already cleared all your after school detentions, no ISS nor suspensions from the last six weeks, also none of the following, no fights or acts of violence, no sexual harassment, drugs, alcohol, tobacco, or any harmful approaches towards any adult on campus. Before purchasing any tickets for school events, ask yourself, do I qualify? Reminders, do's and don'ts when attending a school dance. Do, bring a change of clothes, but follow the dress code rules on page seven of your student handbook. Bring extra money for the snacks. Follow all the KLA rules at the dance. Show the E and reach at the dance. Serve all the tensions before attending the dance. We have a list at the door upon check-in. Don't. Don't leave campus before the dance starts or ends. Once you leave the gates of wisdom, you will not be permitted back on campus or to the dance. No exceptions. Don't leave your reach class at the end of the day. You must line up at the gates with your reach class. Then you will be dismissed for the dance. Here's a little spoiler alert for the next dance is the Halloween dance, so get your dancing shoes ready ahead of time. This has been me, and next up is Anaya with Room 20. Thanks, Ariana. I'm Anaya, and today I'm going to be talking about Room 20. This is a room where students would attend if they're late to school or not following the uniform policy. A way that you could get sent during class is if you're disrespecting a teacher, assistant, or horse playing. Some of the things that you will be doing in this room during lunch detention is staying quiet and following the, following the directions that's first time given and completing your work that's provided. For an example, if you get a TSMP and you refuse to fill it out, most likely you'll be sent to room 20. If you refuse to go to room 20 and you have to be escorted, you will automatically get an after school detention and a phone call home explaining to your parents why you're staying after school and what caused it. I interviewed Ms. Torres and she said that I wanted to work with kids K-8 through and help them continue to be strong leaders and work with K-8 teachers to support them. Some of the things that I recommend kids to do to stay out of room 20 is listen to your teachers when asked the first time if you if you get sent to room 20, don't hesitate, just go. And lastly, don't think that you can go to just sit. You have work to do just like any other class. I'm Anaya Johnson, and thank you for watching KLA News. Hi, my name is Richie Garcia with KLA News. Remember, the end of the grading period is coming to an end on October 5th, as well as a free dress day, only for the students who have never been tardy or absent for this month on October 3rd. This is KLA News, and have a good weekend. Thank you so much for watching KLA News. We'll be covering a lot more stories, and we'll even be talking about events. Bye.